Hey there guys, what's going on? It's the Cartoon Kitty here and welcome back to more Star vs. the Forces of Evil. We are here today with Lint Catcher and Trial by Squire. Now this episode should be interesting. It is going to be probably involving Marco and having to find Star and everything like that. I still think that Star has no idea that he's going to actually be here and she's probably going to be hanging out with Tom and that's going to be really awkward and everything. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to watch these episodes for yourselves, if you haven't already, you can do so through the links in the description. Help support the series and the creators um, through iTunes, you know, and the Disney XD app if you guys are interested there. So yeah, let's get this episode started! No. <laughs> uh, she must have gotten some inspiration from uh, uh, Perry Grip. Surprise! Hey, Star. <laughs> Death by Burrito. That's my meat blanket. Meat blanket? Meat blanket? Yes, I also have a cheese doily. Uh, <laughs> I feel you, Moon. For weeks. <laughs> weeks. I'm sorry, Marco. Wait, I've got it. How about we set him up with Sir Pop, Lock, and Droppeth? Hmm? Pop, Lock, and Droppeth? Um, actually, he popped, locked, and dropped. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> Dead. Star, why don't you have Marco stay uh -huh. with you? It will give you two a chance to catch up while we figure this out. Oh look, here's that door we were watching. Hey, the night of the wash, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, here's our guy, Sir Lavabo. Hi. He does have a name. Please. I'm just so happy. I will be with you shortly. I have a job to finish. There, every sock in the kitchen now <laughs> has its mate. How may I be of service? Well, I, I got you a squire. <gasps> My own squire? Aww. What do you call him? I love him! <laughs> what? Okay, Marco, here's a job. No, not that job. Not that job! What? Oh! Oh, we still haven't had your tri trial uh, yet. We're gonna get that outdoor time! What a Great. massive... I know. And real dragon chains, too. <sighs> they make Lady feel so free. Oh, yeah. I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. Can I sit? Sit, like, right there. Star, you could have just gone to the other side. The other side. Always makes me feel better. I don't get how some people think it's okay to just drop into your life. Oh, that was so much. And your head's up. Uh, I mean, technically, Star, you dropped into his life in season one first unexpectedly. That wasn't popcorn. On his first quest, cleaning out the lint catcher, Oh my gosh. That's magical lint right there. Just left. Wait, Marco? That is some shiny lint, and I want that shiny lint. <gasps> uh, bye! Bye! Uh, okay. Marco looks like he's about ready to die. I said you're gonna wake it up. Ah, okay. Hello. Mm, nope, 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 nope. I don't like lint monsters. Thank you very much. Especially ones that look like intestines. Ugh. Ugh. Goodbye. That is a powerful fan. Oh, the exit beam! We haven't seen that since season two or season one. 
fantastic. Season one. Only Season one. one other squire has survived the lean catcher. You? Me! Yep. Marco Diaz, you will make a fine squire for the Knights of the Wash. Yeah. What is that? <gasps> it's like... Oh! No. Cool! I can't believe it. I oh, cool! Oh my it's God. just like it. This is so great. Marco, kneel. <laughs> uh, what? Marco, sit. <laughs> Marco Ubaldo Diaz shall henceforth be my royal squire to stay by my side for danger as my most trusted confidant and advisor. Oh! So with me, even when he's too tired, to share his late night nachos, but most importantly, to be my very best friend so long as we both shall be. Oh. Amen. Do you accept? I do. <laughs> Some people would take that as a wedding proposal Wait, type thing. Do princesses even have squires? I'm a princess. I can do what I want. <laughs> yes, you can. Attention, quest by shoppers. Yeah, quest, quest by, by yes, yes, we're back. I like all these callbacks and revisitings. The list. Boom. Why? Boom. You're now, you're shopping at Quest boom. Buy. Ugh. It's got coupons attached to it. I like the coupons. I like the girl with it. Hair. Hey She's cute. Oh, hey, man. That's Lady Hoosits. Baby Man's Night. <laughs> nice. And Old Man's Night. Sir Dashing of Muzzleton. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my night. Sir Snack. Oh, my word. Six. That was great. I am in need of a wet wipe. Did she just call me a nerd? <laughs> Endearing nerd or something. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Marco's like, why are you lying to me? Why are you <laughs> always lying? Choose your speed. No. I'm getting used to the star physics again of this show. Just like, just the craziness I'm getting used to again. Let's just try to have fun. Yeah, Star and Mabel from Gravity Falls would be the best of friends. The best. You don't want me to have the good stuff. I see it now. Uh oh. He's descending into madness. I don't even wear chest plates. Oh no. Oh, Rip Margo. Apparently we've got dragons on aisle 14. <laughs> you don't even know what you have in the shop. Oh my god. Rip Marco. <laughs> what did you do to earn this job? Oh, nothing. It was handed to you because you're the princess's boyfriend. What? I'm not her boyfriend. Interesting. Guess it was handed to you out of pity then, huh? Oh! Star! Marco! I'm your star. Under the dragon bite. <laughs> Try it, Skit, skit, skit. Skit, skit. Well, I think that's oh, enough boy. fun for one squire. Let's say we call it a day. Mount the cart! Okay! <laughs> uh, go, Marco, go! Go, Marco, go! It's a race to the finish! Who's gonna get there first? Is it gonna be Marco? Is it gonna be the other girl? Oh, and Marco pulls a dirty move there, all oh, right into the billows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh, rip. Marco, what? Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't trip her that hard. I'm just trying to get you the best stuff. Oh, it was box corner. Sorry. Why did you appoint me as your squire in the first place? I'm terrible at it. I didn't get you any gear. Aww, You're gonna look drag. Like in front of all the other knights. So cute. <laughs> I can't even tell what's happened there. Challenge you to a duel. A duel so it is. I accept your challenge. Oh my gosh, I love these two. Also, she looks like an executor. Hey, what do they think they're doing? That's not night gear. That's just silly random fun stuff. Clever squire. Salami. I've never seen that coming. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, it's the Gravity Falls nose! Yes! Oh. Yes. Yes, we did. 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 Yes, we did.
<laughs> that's great. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so analyze and 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 then and then and then and now and then now. Analyzing those last two episodes there. Okay, so Star kind of did a 180. She was like unsure. She didn't seem to want Marco around at all. And then like suddenly she did after talking with Eclipsa. So I I don't understand the, the whole thing there. I guess she's trying to make it things go back to how they were. I don't know. That was that 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 change was a bit abrupt for me. There was no, you know, like realization like, oh, I guess technically the fight was the realization, the fight against the lint monster, um, that she missed having fun times with him. So she's like, okay, screw it. You know what? He can live here. I'm just going to make him my squire and then we can have fun, uh, which this episode was all about. And I still don't know that redhead's name. I can't remember. It's like, I heard pig, but I don't think that's right. Um, so yeah, uh, but she looks pretty cool. She, she kind of reminds me of like Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon, just a little bit, but I like her. Uh, even though she's kind of a jerk. Because, yeah, uh, I mean, being a squire would kind of be hard, especially if you have a knight that is self-righteous and thinks that he is the bee's knees, uh, or she thinks that she's the bee's knees. So, yeah, um, I can kind of understand it in that sense. It's kind of, it is like a competition sort of thing, but still, she didn't have to be quite as of a, of a jerk to Marco. And it's nice at the end that they just went and did their silly things. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the next episode. Oh gosh. Ugh. So Ugh. Gross. Oh no. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> Rip Marco. Is he wearing a corsage under there? Princess problem. Yeah. Okay, stand up straight. Arms forward. And exhale. Exhale. Wow. You impressive. Done this before. I mean, she is technically a prince, so okay. Uh, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Awkward. My face. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> Looks like a student lounge after a party. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Bunnyhead. Oh, um, oh boy, this is gonna be awkward. Have a place in the garbage. Oh. oh boy. Oh, good one. Oh, that was. Oh, you had me. Ooh, boy. Someone wrote Marco's name on the wall. Pancakes. That's not healthy. Come on. No, gossip bad. Gossip destroys friendships and lives. Beatrice and Alfred broke up again? This is the hallway of Turdina. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the very first Turdina poster. Of all of the and oh my and gosh. Here, and a poster of your movie. Well, he has a movie coming out? This is. That's not criminal to be, to be an individual. individual. It's not criminal to be an individual. Why am I much more fun I Turdina? <laughs> What's here? What is here? Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh. Oh, the ego's gonna go to his head. But it was Boy. It because you showed us that there's another way to live. This is gonna be super awkward. Oh no, it's you. Oh, why? Why are you here? Are you enjoying this? Hey, this is the first time he's ever been popular. 
freedom. It reminds me of the girl from uh, a Goofy story too. Or Thank you, Princess Gwendolyn. The second one. Beautiful interpretive dance. Princess Marco Tardina. Call me when it's over. Call me when it's over. Wow. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. My headphones. Dearest princesses, congratulations on this wonderful school. Living by your true colors, loving who you are. I'm proud to have inspired uh, you to be brave. Anus knows who you are, you know that, right? And when being true to yourself, hopefully she doesn't show up and ruin this! Thousands of people. Um can tell That's that's why I have to tell you the truth. I, Princess Marco Tradina. Oh, there's... Oh, Rascor is a body now! Hi, Heinous. I forgot your name. She has been slept in weeks, oh my gosh. Princess Tardina is a fraud, and I have the evidence to prove it. Oh no. At the wrong time. I am a boy. Gasp! Look where all this freedom got you, living in filth, and championing a hero who's been lying to you all along. Henceforth, you must reinstate me as your schoolmaster. You Why are you so me? desperate for that? And I need you. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Rascor's gonna fly off, you know that, right? I'm not gonna question that. Oh yeah, that's good. Jim, I, we gotta get more of this stuff. Oh, yes, but I'm afraid this one is out of juice, my lady. Camera phone. I know that, you fool! I'm not talking about her! You? Well, I'm happy to share some of you? my with you. No, I want the good stuff. I'm coming for you, Princess Marco Turdina! I uh, don't mean to interrupt, my what? lady, but we say this all the time. I'm coming for you. <laughs> We should just stay <laughs> in tonight, and you can have a little mm. Gemini fuel. No, nobody asked you. Go get the car. Uh, uh, Gemini. Of course, my lady. Poor Gemini. What the heck, though? Hainus is like, wow. she's freaking yeah, sucking so like cute, the the price, the, like, the youth from the game. students. Is that what was going on? <laughs> that is funny. Oh, wow. Yo yo yo! No no no! Do you think? I look cute in this shirt? What? Or... Hey! Over there! That goes for you too! Monster! <gasps> oh, Prince Listener! Sorry, sorry, sir! Please don't incinerate my shop! <laughs> Please don't incinerate my shop! <laughs> oh, she looks like she's so bored! No. Ah! <laughs> humans kind of keep... And what about people who aren't humans but also aren't monsters? Like Romulus! I like how she has little, little figurines. He's on the magical high commission. Oh dear, he's rich. I don't really know Okay. And what about the Lucidors? I've seen Tom do some pretty Oh my gosh. Somehow he's not a monster. And it makes absolutely no sense that little doll are monsters, but Lekmet, the giant magical goat man, went that. Too soon, star. What's the difference? What the heck is the difference? Yeah, uh, please yeah. tell me the difference. The rules the royal monster expert does. And what? So we have a monster on staff. Yeah, this is a new. Monster, a monster expert, Dr. Jenny Goodwill. Okay, then I'm gonna go have a little chat. That's a reliable Jenny name. Well, if that even is her real name. Yeah, and we go down. Step, step. <laughs> Ah, can I purge that from my memory forever, please? I've even lived among them and observed their behavior firsthand. And sure. Are exactly the princess I've been waiting for. This should be interesting. Oh, yes, I hope to find a royal who actually gets it the way we treat monsters and newly is well monstrous. Yay! Monsters need to be respected. Yes, I 
and load. Yes! And caught. Get preserved. Being a researcher is awesome. These monster costumes are great. <laughs> Wobbly arms. <laughs> Part of me trusts her, the other part of me doesn't, because she seems too nice. Monster musk. What's that? Oh, that is nasty. What's in there? My own special blend of various monster secretions. Ugh. Ah! Uh, uh, let's get going. First, we'll need to go through the forest of certain death. Then, across the lake of endless suffering. Over <coughs> the town of constant oh. sorrow. Across the bridge of the inevitable. No. That made me feel sick right there. Oh, where's my water? A frog! A frog! I saw him! Yeah, she's got a couple screws loose. A frog! You get it! I've been watching 011358 since he was a tadpole. He's not a number. I invented a tracker on his ear and have been keeping close tabs on him ever since. How has he never noticed that? That thing's massive. How has Star never noticed that? Let me show you. Hi. Hi. Nice guardsmanship. More like a prison. I mean, how are they supposed to get in and out? Well, they don't. It's guaranteed. Total isolation from humans. Oh boy, this should not be. No. We can't just go around pulling up dams and imprisoning monsters. That's crazy. Humans have been deciding what's best for monsters for way too long. But I too late. already did it. Oh boy, Star! Unbelievable. Look, of course there is bigger, better stroller, but you should appreciate. The one we have. Uh, no, you probably should get them a bigger stroller, Evgeny. Oh, you must be crazy dirty lady that watches us through trees. <laughs> they know. Well, I'm good well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm such a turd brain. This will destroy entire village. Come on. Yes! Oh, I didn't expect to see you buff frog again so soon. Oh, please. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, it's a potato baby. Yeah, work together, family! Katrina! Katrina! Oh, sweetie! Okay. There. Now Mimi has a real monster expert. Ah! Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, uh, badge. I think you uh, broke the skin a little. Oh, gosh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. But Frog finally has his spot. Oh, I'm happy now. Okay. All right then. Well, yes. All right. Okay. Where do I start? Um, where do I start? Okay. Ah, oh, my cheeks hurt. This show makes my cheeks hurt so much. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I'm proud of Buff Frog. I I didn't expect to see him in this episode, much less Star give him a job. And I'm glad now that he does have one. I really wanted him to become a part of like somehow a part of the royal family in terms of like you know in charge of something, but now he's the monster expert, which is in charge of something, so that's great. I'm happy for him. It was nice seeing him in the tadpoles again. If you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell, Buffrog is 100% my favorite character. Like, Toffee is great as well, but Buffrog is where it's at, mob dudes. <laughs> he's the coolest, and I love him for it. And I love all his children and everything, and oh my gosh. But yeah, he needs to get them a bigger stroller because uh, that, they, they are definitely too crowded in that stroller. So, uh, yeah. But um, it is good to have him ba back. And then, of course, we had the whole Princess Tardina thing. Excuse me. Um, I, I love how accepting the princes were. They were just like, because they all don't like Hanus, so they're just like, so what? Just get out of here, you know? But I guess Hanus is 
like I guess she needs the princesses to keep her youth or something. I mean, she didn't look that old when she first appeared on stage to when she did after. Maybe it's where she gets her magic from, but we haven't exactly seen Hainus use any magic yet. So that's going to be interesting to find out what exactly. And the only thing I can think of is it's that it's youth or something like that because she wants to go after Margo next. And, you know, it can't be something that's inherently um, just girls. It would have to be maybe it's maybe it's like spirit or something. I have no clue, but I'm really interested to find out what the heck that is. I feel like this season will focus on her a lot more. Um, and as well as Eclipse, so hopefully, because <laughs> she's definitely a very strange one, and I don't know what to think about her. And then, of course, we have Rastcore. He's finally a torso and a body now, and how he didn't fall off the car after being tied down manually onto the car is beyond me. Maybe he just had magical magnetic abilities. I don't know. I'm also wondering about Gemini and his whole history, because he's... How did he end up with heinous, you know? Like, and is he, like, a human? Is he a monster? Is he some weird thing brought to life by heinous? I have no clue. Um, so we have a lot more mysteries to figure out. As always, the show seems to throw stuff at us. Uh, we got to see Tom a little bit at the beginning there, too. <laughs> just the whole, oh, please don't burn down my shop. That was just the funniest thing to me. My but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching these episodes with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my reactions to them. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below on the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Follow me on my social media and on check me out on Patreon. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Peace, guys!